The tide creaked to a halt on Tuesday. Fisherman's boat sailed to its end and watched the drop, 20 metres. On Wednesday, children walked to the wall through ropes, pitched their hands like hooks to rouse the weavers. Men lay ladders against a salty hedge and dived. Saturday, the sea turned brown. Shutters clattered close to keep the stink out. Dead fish burst the surface. Seagulls flew so far in, they forgot to return. Weeds clambered up, tentacles piercing the plain. Midges drew laced patterns in the sky. We waited for the tide to start again. Broken stones, bone sand and wrinkled mud hurried their layerings. The sea solidified. Outside, the rocks rolled in, boulders smooth from the trip but pierced by a hole so that they seemed like an army of eyeballs boldly gathered by the wall of a sea that had turned to rust.